I want to follow up about this bigger story through covid that we're seeing of conservative radio hosts, anti mask advocate radio hosts, anti vax radio hosts dying of covid after ba uh, bashing vaccines. Business Insider now reports at least seven conservative radio hosts and high profile anti mask anti vax advocates have died from covid in recent weeks. Radio hosts Bob Enyart, Dick Farrell, Phil Valentine and Mark Bernier, as well as former CIA officer and conspiracy theorist Robert David Steele, anti masker Caleb Wallace and South Carolina Republican conservative leader Presley Stutz shared conspiracy theories about theories about vaccines before catching covid. They told supporters misinformation about the virus. They held rallies in opposition to mask mandates. As covid cases continue to surge, nearly all of the deaths are among the unvaccinated and misinformation remains widespread. Remember all of these stories. We talked about Bob Enyart refused to get vaccinated before dying of covid. He had a show called Real Science Radio. He died Monday. Um, Dick Farrell from Florida, radio host, advocated against the vaccine on Facebook before his death said the vaccines were bogus, said Fauci was a power tripping, lying freak. He died of covid. Uh, Phil Valentine, we covered extensively, who actually became a vaccine advocate after being hospitalized. He didn't make it. Phil Valentine died. Mark Bernier, we covered another Florida right wing radio host, said on air he was against vaccines. I'm not taking it. Are you kidding me, Mr. Anti-vax Jeepers? He died of covid. Former CIA officer Robert David Steele spread covid denial conspiracies uh, throughout the pandemic. He died from covid over the it looks like the last weekend in August. This is not fun. It's not funny. It's it's sad. And uh, it's happening to people that listen to these folks as well. Caleb Wallace, anti masker who protested covid safety measures, spent a month in the hospital only 30 years old and died called covid tyranny, called lockdowns and masks covid tyranny. Uh, by the way, an another important detail, he started showing symptoms in July and treated himself with ivermectin, vitamin C, zinc, aspirin and an inhaler. Uh, none of those things shown to actually work for covid. Presley Stutz, 64 year old South Carolina conservative group leader died after making fun of masks. Chair of the Greenville Tea Party made false statements about the virus, downplayed the importance of mask wearing. So listen, in terms of hierarchy and reach and audience, these are relatively low level radio people, right? I mean, they were they seem to have been true believers. They've now paid a price. The larger audience people, you know, Hannity, Tucker, Laura Ingram, Glenn Beck, people like that, um, they strike me more as being con artists, I think, particularly given the revelations that Fox News vaccination and testing program is even stricter than the one outlined by Joe Biden. And yet Tucker and Laura, they, they keep working there. My sense is that the Fox people aren't really true believers. They are grifters. These guys really seemed to be true believers. And you even saw them change some of them, like Phil Valentine, when it started getting really, really bad. Um, unfortunately, even these deaths may not convince people of stuff. If you go on the right wing enclaves online, you will see people writing these guys were murdered because they spoke out against the vaccine. It's an unfalsifiable claim, right? Well, it looks like if you're unvaccinated, you're more at risk. And look, now these people died. No, 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 no. They were killed. The, the conspiracy goes because they spoke out against the vaccine. There is no convincing a lot of these people, but hopefully these deaths are not completely in vain. They are senseless, but they are hopefully not completely in vain in that some people will have been convinced to get vaccinated as a result. I don't know if that's the case. Let me know your thoughts. You can find me on Twitter at D Pacman. One of our sponsors is Curiosity Stream, the only subscription streaming service that focuses exclusively on documentaries. If you love documentaries the way I do, you're missing out if you don't have a subscription to Curiosity Stream. I love it for one reason. 
It has the biggest best selection of documentaries that you'll find anywhere, including the newest popular ones that everybody's talking about. And most of it is stuff you really can't find on other streaming services. Last month, they added a ton of great new documentaries to the library. One I watched is Brimstone and Glory about a pyrotechnic festival in Mexico. Random, but fascinating. Curiosity Stream is giving my audience 25% off, meaning you can subscribe for just 15 bucks a year. Not a big price tag relative to the hours and hours of enjoyment I know you will get from Curiosity Stream. Just go to curiositystream.com/pacman. The link is right underneath this video.